Hello and welcome to this video in the ClearPass workshop series. The series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch, including integration with Aruba Wireless, Wired and Active Directory and much more. So till now we set up the basic ClearPass environment. Um, so we ended up uh, with a complete cluster uh, of four nodes that is uh, updated to the latest release, at least uh, the latest release at this moment um, and uh, today we will be setting up a wireless authentication against this uh, ClearPass. So we will be building our first authentication to this ClearPass. And in order to do that, we uh, will configure the authentication source. So we will configure LDAP to the Active Directory. We will configure the authentication service on ClearPass. We will then go to the Instant AP and configure the corporate SSID over there, then connect to the SID, check that it's working, and then we will do the same with a domain laptop. So one warning in advance, uh, we will be using here MSCHEP v2, which is an old authentication method uh, from uh, Windows, which has been cracked. So in practice, uh, only deploy this if you have full control over the client and can enforce uh, client's uh, authentication. But for the purpose of demo, I think it's uh, good to do that. So we go to configuration, we go to the services, and here you can see there are a few default services, everything between square brackets, you can recognize it's a default service. So when we are adding a service, we can select here in the drop down, and uh, we'll pick the Aruba.1x wireless service, and we can see that all these attributes are pre-configured already. So it will check if it's a wireless request, if it's a login or authentication, and if there is an Aruba SSID sent with a request. So we know this is a request coming from an Aruba access point. Here we will uh, put a name on this service, and I typically try to start uh, with your initials or with your project. So for the workshop, we uh, prepend every name with workshop. Aruba instant 802.1x, for example, and we go to the next page where we can select the authentication method. So how will we connect or authenticate to the network? And for me, it's enough to do ePeep, which is the username and password, um, and the ePTLS, uh, which we'll be using later. But Let's put it on already so we are uh, ready to go uh, when we move to client certificates. Then we need to uh, add the authentication sources. And as you can see, we have not yet uh, configured our LDAP uh, server, which is an Active Directory service. So we can here add a new authentication source and uh, provide a name here. So it's for the Aruba lab.lock. Uh, Active Directory, so we call this the workshop AD service, which is just a label. Um, it's of the type Active Directory. Here next, we can configure the domain controller hostname. And we can configure a bind DN, which is the username that is uh, used to connect to the domain service and um, I typically advise to create a service account here which cannot be locked and will not uh, expire its password because if the password expires um, yeah you will be in uh, in troubles uh, because ClearPass can no longer fetch uh, user information from the Active Directory. We put a password in here and now we can test here uh, search base DN if we can access the domain and yeah, as you can see, um, we can access the domain. So uh, that's good. So let's save this one and we select to edit here. So we go to the next uh, roles. We'll be covering that later on. So we skip it for now. And for now we just do a sample allow access policy, which basically means uh, users that are authenticated will get access to the network. So a very simple, uh, simple policy. So now let's go to our instant AP. Should be reachable on here.
So I do have one SSID already, and let's create a new SSID here, um, Corp1. Um, we'll take it uh, by the default VLAN for now. Uh, we'll make this, uh, of course, uh, WPA2 Enterprise. And um, I already have configured here ClearPass server, and um, it is configured. Oh, it's wrong configured. 10.1.10.11 um, with uh, authentication and a shared key, which is radius 1 to 3 in my environment. I enabled uh, COA here. Um, and this, uh, yeah, this will do it uh, for now. Uh, what we can do is create a new one here. CPPM1 subscriber 10.1.10.12 and the shared key radius 1, 2, 3. And uh, yeah, let's enable COA here um, as well. So now we have two authentication services, the publisher and the subscriber. So it can fall back if we turn off the publisher. It still should have uh, authentication. So next, We'll uh, put no access restrictions on this uh, network for now. And uh, the SSID should be uh, airing uh, right now. So now I have a client here and uh, we'll try to uh, connect to the network. You can't see it uh, right now, um, but it is uh, trying to connect to the network and it's not connecting to the network. So let's see because we have all kinds of troubleshooting tools as well in ClearPass. So let's first uh, try the access tracker. And in the access tracker, you can see there's nothing coming in, but let's see the event viewer. Hey, here in the event viewer, I see authentication errors. And if we open it, what we can see is that there are radius requests coming in from uh, an unknown NAD, which is a network device. And uh, that's true because we need to configure ClearPass with the shared secret as well. We configured the shared secret on the instant AP, but not yet on the ClearPass. So let's do that right away. So we go here to the um, network devices. And here we will add um, instant AP 10.1.10.2, which is the proxy IP and the radius shared secret. And it's an, uh, yeah, it's an Aruba and we have a COA enabled. So let's try again. I see a certificate request on the client right now. Let's check on all servers. And what we now see is that we have a valid authentication. So it went to the second server for some reason. And um, if we click this request, you can see that it was accepted. You can see the date and time. You can see where it came from. So it came from the instant AP. The username was user one, and it was authenticated with EP MS v 2 So that's integrated ad uh, authentication and we allowed access to that uh, system so the client has been configured so that's uh, good so now let's switch to another client so here's another client this is a windows 10 client and uh, we can try to connect here to the corporate ssid so let's see what happens so verifying and connecting let's see the access tracker and what we can see here now is that this client is trying to authenticate but it is rejected and we can go here into the alert step and what this says is that the client here fatal fatal alert by client unknown ca and this has to do uh, because we didn't put a correct certificate authority radius certificate on the clearpass uh, server um, and the client, the Windows 10 client, doesn't trust the ClearPass server. So we will be putting on that certificate uh, in the next video. So 
I hope you liked this video. And if you liked, uh, please like it below this video. Uh, please put your comments and also subscribe to the channel. So you will be alerted uh, when next videos come out. So in the next video, we will be putting up the radius certificate. So thanks for watching now and hope to see you next time.